Great, it's raining. This sucks. Not for me. It's nice and dry inside Saray. That is whole new levels of creepy. Damn it! Why can't I be a dumb dry ghost too? Is this the new hideout? One of the candidates. I'll go check it out. Wanna come? I'm gonna take a look. Sorry, but wait here a sec. What? The Mabo curry bun was a huge success! It might become the Sparrow Feather's most famous product at this rate. Here's a sample. When you think Mabo curry bun, think Sparrow Feathers. Thank you. That was a conversation with an Assassin's Guild. Isn't it good that they're so peaceful? Hmm. It seems ideal for hiding away, but if we were attacked here, we'd be in a bind. You're right. Well, that's that. Let's look somewhere else. Sorry for making you all wait. Boss, Talfren's back. Oh, how'd it go? Well, the Mabo curry bun was super popular, and... The Romano firm looks legit on paper, but it's about as shady as it gets. More than 30 reported bankrupt families. The firm confiscates all the family's property and takes it as their own. And as for what happens to those broken families, well, take a guess. There's gotta be a legal pitfall somewhere. Egil. Have squads two and four back up Talfrin. Investigate the Romano firm and its surroundings. Yes, sir. I'll leave it up to you. Even humans can make themselves disappear. All right, then. Let's get going. Uh, sure. That's my rose. You scatter bones sure are on the same wavelength. You think? Well, we are kind of like family. Family, huh? I wanted to ask you if someone named Brad was your father. You mean our late leader? He's the one who saved me. Oh, really? Apparently, I was lost and roaming around the northern battlefield when he found me. Just like me. 
Seraphim don't have parents either. You guys too, huh? But we do know what it means to have a family. Gramps was the one who raised both of us. Same here. My friends in the Scattered Bones are like family to me, who took the same path I did. You don't mind having to be an assassin? No way! I'm grateful for it! It's better than us all being apart. I see. So, she doesn't mind, huh? See? I told you the Mabo curry bun would be a huge hit! Mmm, yeah, it's delicious. Hey, mind your manners, you two. But we gotta eat it before it gets cold! Yeah, that'd be gross. I can't take it anymore. Give me a bite. Yeah, sharing is caring. Your manners, everyone, please! You, you want, want some too? too? Yes, please! There's something nearby. Oh, look! There's a rabbit. It's a Glenwood rabbit. Looks so yummy. yummy! What? You got a problem? You're talking, uh, yummy cute, right? Yeah, cute. And delicious. You didn't know? Rabbit flesh is a rare treat. I'm aware that they're consumed sometimes, but... You'll understand once you take a bite. Here, I'll catch this one for you and cook it up. N no thanks. It's okay. We'll save the most scrumptious part for you. I'm fine. Seraphim don't need food. Really? If you say so. It's cool. We'll just dry it and take it along. I love bunny jerky. Ooh, I'm game. What are you doing? Run! It ran away. Dezel, you startled the poor thing, you meanie. You're concerned for its welfare now? Don't get careless! I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. I'm ready. Look! It's rolling on the ground! You like armadillos? But this one's so big! You mean like Hellion size? Everyone okay? You dare call yourself a curless with that form? Utterly preposterous. Whoa! Guys, Lila's freaking out! She's okay. She just has a thing for stuff that curls up into little balls. I know, it's weird. A curlist strives to achieve the perfect sphere. In other words, physical realization of one of nature's ideal forms. Which means a sloppy curl is an insult to Mother Nature. Ah, I think I kind of get it. Like spiral shells and stuff, right? They're cute. Rose! Look out, Rose. You're playing with fire. So you do get it! Wait, 
What? Particularly the sublime curl of the turban snail. It's pure mathematics. I could gaze at it for hours. Sure, and like, egg rolls are totally yum. Oh, and round steak? Mmm. Yes! Rose, let's start a curlist club. Just you and me. We'll call it the Curling Circle. Yes, and our motto can be, the only thing we have to sphere is sphere itself. We've lost her. I'll quarantine them, you warn the others. Just injure yourself. Focus, guys! I need a sister! Sweets are so good, especially after a battle.
What's that? What a fluffy puffy goat! A fluff -a goat you might say. This is a goat? They don't look anything like the ones in Alicia. Don't they eat paper? Knock it off. You shouldn't give them man-made items. I'm sorry. You're quite right. You're very kind when it comes to animals. It's more that you folks are too rough with them. We'll leave it at that. So, Dezel, would these be cliff-dwelling goats? Yeah. They usually live their lives on the cliffs and go down to the grasslands only to eat. They even sleep on the cliffs. On the cliffs? That's gotta be brutal. Sounds quite uncomfortable indeed. From our point of view, maybe. But to them, it might be the best thing in the world. Hmm. It's true that they probably have fewer predators to worry about that way. What strangers feel as happiness is beyond our ken. Is that the sort of thing you're getting at? Pretty much. Are you talking from experience? Interpret as you may. I don't think any dogs have barked at me for a while now. There's the reason why. Is that Dezel? Looks like the dogs are flocking to him. What? You want something? No, I'm just a little surprised. You're okay with dogs? Of course I am. Dogs are silent partners. You haven't given them enough of a chance to know better. But dogs do bark. They only bark because they can sense your anxiety and aren't sure where it's coming from. In other words, it's because you're afraid of them in the first place. Well, I'd argue that they bark at me first. <sighs> it's so hot again. It truly is. I think I'm gonna get sunburned. Edna, do you use your umbrella for protection from the sun? As you can see. Do Seraphim get sunburned too? I guess it makes sense since Edna has really fair skin. Edna's umbrella can be used to avoid the sunlight as well as rain. It can even be used to push back the Hellions. Oh, wow! So it's like killing three birds with one stone! Not quite. It's also her signature item, so it's more like killing four birds with one stone. If that's true, then really it's like killing five birds with one stone, since she has a cute mascot character attached to it. And, and, it's also something she can change depending on her mood, so that's actually six- I'm like Cinderella with an umbrella. I must say, that was a good one. 
Not to mention a lot of dead birds with one stone. 